What's up folks, my name is Ajay and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this simple bird table. It's made of pallet wood, a leftover fence post and some small scraps. I then gave it a coat of paint and now it's ready for the birds. So let's get into it. I started by measuring out some pieces of pallet wood. and also working out the angles that I would need for the roof. I then cut all the pieces to length on the mitre saw. I used some masking tape to hold everything together temporarily just so that I could check the angles and measure everything up properly. I then measured and cut some pieces to support the roof. I noticed that I needed a bit of an overlap here, so I had to trim a couple of the pieces down further. I then sanded all the pieces down. Lots and lots and lots of sanding. One of the issues with pallet wood is that you find the odd nail in there, but this wasn't too bad. Started assembling the base with just some glue, but I did this upside down, so when it came to turning it over, I ended up making a lot of mess. I went for glue and just some nails to give it a handmade rustic look. For the roof pieces, I again used glue, but this time used some brad nails. This part was awkward. I don't have a 90 degree clamp, so clamping these pieces together was uh, a lot of trial and error. Tried using a box to support it, tried using my set square. In the end, I had to use a load of clamps and some scrap pieces of wood to hold it all together. And I got it together just long enough so that I could put these nails into the roof. And it was almost a 90 degree angle. I then used a stop block on my mitre saw to cut some lengths for the upright supports. Here you can see why you should always let the blade stop spinning when you're using a stop block on a mitre saw. It creates a bit of kickback. Luckily the piece wasn't damaged, so we were fine this time. Then sanded down the upright supports just by hand.
then just use a few screws to assemble the upright supports into the base. And attach the roof on again with some screws. And that's the basic birdhouse table done. Now onto the stand, I got this old piece of fence post and sanded it and then measured it and cut it to length. I use this off cut to mark where the stand will be attached to the table. For the support legs, I cut some strips of wood and added a 45 degree angle to them. And off camera I also did some smaller pieces to support the base onto the stand. Then added some pilot holes into all the pieces. And then I countersunk all the holes so that I could get the screw heads flush. And then onto the final assembly. Use a little bit of glue and then simply just drove in a couple of screws. This join was actually really strong, so the support pieces aren't really needed. But decided to add them anyway because they just look nice. Did the same thing for the legs, just a bit of glue and a screw. I also added some brad nails to strengthen the joint. And here's the final piece. Just ready for some paint now. Then gave it a coat of grey paint in two different tones to match the rest of the garden and now it's ready for the birds. If you like this video consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.